Welcome to our lecture on the prednisone agents. We are now on the reversal agent of the alpha alpha two agonists, which are the alpha two antagonist. Two agonists are the prednisone agents with a specific reversal agents, and they are the alpha two antagonist. So an important consideration when we are going to use an alpha two antagonist in uh, patients under anesthesia is that. It will reverse all the effects of the alpha-2 agonist, the, both the detrimental effects of the alpha-2 agonist as well as its beneficial effects. So we start with the detrimental effects. So the, of course, when you are going to use alpha-2 agonist, there is a risk for bradycardia, and this can be reversed by the use of the alpha-2 antagonist. Another is the beneficial effects. So the beneficial effects of the alpha-2 agonist are analgesia and sedation. And again, this can be reversed by the use of the alpha-2 antagonist. So if we have to revert, for example, dexdomitor or domitor, of course, these, uh, these are the brand name of our dexmeditomidin. We have to increase the gas. Uh, of course, the gas serves as the uh, maintenance anesthetic. Otherwise, now the, these animals will jump off the table, again, because the sedative effect and the analgesic effect is being reversed. So usually, uh, uh, of course, uh, we also have now the analgesia and sedation. Again, it will be reversed by the antagonist. And uh, another other detrimental effects so that can be reversed by the antagonist, aside from bradycardia or arrhythmia, as well as the hypotension. So that is the beneficial effects of the alpha-2 antagonist. Another important, uh, another interesting note about the alpha-2 antagonist is they have a wide, no, a high or a wide margin of safety. <clears throat> In terms of the effects of the overdose, so these, uh, now these drugs can develop you know, in the animals. It can, the animals can get excited and uh, it can also develop muscle tumors. For the cardiovascular effects, it, the animal can get hypotension and tachycardia. And we also have in the gastrointestinal tract, so there is salivation and diarrhea. Now again, because you are reversing the effects of your alpha-2 agonist. So we have here you know, the determination of the dose of our alpha-2 antagonist. So how are we going to express the dose of our alpha-2 antagonist relative to our agonist? So again, the dose of the alpha-2 antagonist is expressed as a ratio in agonist to antagonist ratio. So uh, for example, we have a ratio of 10 is to 1. This means that the dose of the antagonist is one-tenth of the dose of the agonist. So if we are going to administer this uh, via IV, we have to administer it slowly. 99% of the time, we give it IM, no, unless it is an emergency. In cats, we don't give the reversal IV, we give it IM. In dogs, we can give it IV as well as in cattle. Um, we also have to reduce the dose of our antagonist if more than 30 minutes has elapsed since the agonist was administered. This is to reduce the risk of overdose. For silazine, our reversal agent is a uh, bean, so it is an alpha-2 receptor antagonist. And again, it can be used to reverse you know, the effect of silazine. It is administered IV and results are seen within a few minutes. We also have tolazolin. It also reverses silazine. And this is administered IV and is more effective than uhimbine in cattle. Both of this, tolazolin and uhimbine, should be administered IV slowly. And tremors and excitement may result if this is not uh, followed. Again, aside from cattle, uhimbine no, or alpha-2 uh, antagonist, it's also used in dogs, cats, horses, and uh, exotic species. It reverses the cardiovascular and the sedative effects of silazine. Uh, the dose ratio is species dependent, so in dogs and horses, the dose ratio is 10 is to 1, meaning that um, you are going to use you know, a 10 part of the agonist, and one part of that will be the dose of your antagonist. So again, the agonist that you're going to reverse is silazine. And you have one part dose of 
uh, you have been. For cats, that is 2 is to 1. Now you have two part of your agonist and one part of that will be the dose of your yuhimbin, your antagonist. So yuhimbin, it is, uh, according to its label insert, it is indicated to reverse the effects of psilocin. Again, it is a specific antagonist of the presynaptic alpha-2 adrenoceptor and it competes with psilocin at the site of action. It acts by reversing the toxic effects of psilocin achieving a rapid recovery of the animal after having undergone sedation or general anesthesia. It is recommended for use in sport horses, dogs, cats, and exotic animals such as deer and elk. Again, for its application route, that should be injectable slow IV route. And alpha-2 antagonist is atipamisol. So the brand name of this is uh, Antacidan. It is a specific antagonist for dexmedetomidine. Uh, it is available as an IM injection, IV in emergencies, and it has a quick reversal at 5 to 10 minutes after IM injection. This is our atipamisol hydrochloride and 5-MG preparation. According to its label insert, it is indicated for the reversal of the sedative and analgesic effects of dexdomitor or dexmedetomidine hydrochloride and dexdomitor 0.01 dexmedetomidine hydrochloride. Antecedent is an alpha-2 antagonist that competitively inhibits alpha-2 adrenergic receptor and it rapidly and reliably reverses the effects of dexdomitor within 5 to 10 minutes after IM injection. It is, antecedent is the same as the preceding dose volume of dexdomitor and one-fifth the dose of volume of dexdomitor 0.1. It is uh, available for use in canines. So let's now proceed to our tolasolin. So again, it is also an alpha antagonist. But uh, tolasolin is considered to be a non-selective competitive alpha adrenergic receptor antagonist. So it blocks both the alpha-1 and the alpha-2 receptor. So because it also blocks now the alpha-1 receptor, it is also considered to be a direct peripheral vasodilator. So... Uh, in veterinary medicine, it is uh, commonly used to reverse the xylacine-induced sedation. Uh, it is used in ruminants at a dose of 1 to 10 with xylacine. And of course, it reverses the cardiovascular and sedative effects of xylacine.